In this short video, we're going to talk about how to add an audio, uh, or a voiceover in this case, to a Captivate presentation. So the first thing you want to do, and we're working with Captivate version 6, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you, this is a, assuming this is a audio that you've already recorded and placed in your library, you need to make sure your library is visible. So you can click on the library tab over here or choose window and choose library to make sure it's visible. And then to add the recording that you want to place over multiple slides, you first click on the slide that you, you want to be the place where the audio starts. Then you can click and drag your recording to the timeline and when you do this, if the audio is longer than the time of the slide, you will get several different audio import options. One option is to just distribute the audio file over several slides. So we're going to choose that. I'll click OK. And now a dialog box comes up that will allow me to preview the slides and also I can adjust the zoom view of the um, of the audio by using this slider um, I can play the audio file okay now I'm recording audio and this is going to be longer than the slide which I was just doing and now I can rearrange the points at which different slides will appear. By just dragging them over the audio clip waveforms. Now there are many more slides here that you can see and we don't want them all to uh, uh, we don't want the, them all to um, have the same audio but in this case we're going to have the audio on these slides through slide 5 so I will click Save and I will click Close and now we can see that this is distributed over several slides and we can see that confirm that by previewing and we'll preview a few of those slides now okay now I'm recording audio and this is going to be longer than the slide so therefore I'm going to want to extend the length of the slide right I think that's the case so let's make it really long so now it's 15 seconds that should be long enough and as you can see, that worked. So that is one way to sync slides to an audio file that you have imported into Captivate version 6.